Hey. Hi, Arthur. Keep your mouth shut, and you might survive the week. Hey, come on. Just know we're watching you. Then take care. Bill. Hello. Don't get too comfortable now. I won't. Well, rest while you can. We got work to do soon. Okay, then. Tries to get past you. Hi. You look pissed off. No more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. Sure. Yep. said a word. It just feels like we ain't getting nowhere. It's the end of the century. It seems like we ain't much further on than we was in 65. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. We can still live free. We can still say we don't recognize you or answer to your laws. There to be one man living the truth and a million living a lie. No war stories for you, fellas.
It's a goddamn war. I lost my sweetheart, cholera, and my leg to a goddamn cannonball. Hello, mister. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. But, uh... That's how it is. What you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met. Asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters, too, I think. Uh, so? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> you don't sure. seem too scared. Guess not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> you better get out of here. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Get a move on, will you? Oh, heck. Calm down, will you? Boy, you're playing with fire. How's your look? Has anyone seen Gavin? I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny he is. <laughs> And what exactly is your problem? Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Can I help you? Well, it looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. Troubles everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. Men getting killed. Just who are you? And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. 
Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. 5,000 for horses. They must be rich. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then, but... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Whoa! Hey. Yeah! Easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Good. 
Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Ah, uh -huh. greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy there. Easy. Easy now. Take it easy there. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. OK. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Easy, easy. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, easy. Oh, easy. Easy. Whoa, easy. 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 It's so careful. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Uh-huh, greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good hey, boy. Easy now. Easy now. Whoa there. Easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. I'll watch the What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! Put me in rock! Oh, oh, you need something.
get these horses to Clarence Cove. Quick before we run. Quick before we run into any more trouble. Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Woo, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. There'll be plenty more where that came from. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. Oh, hey, 
Arthur. What you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello there. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? Look at you. You you need some new lines, Morgan. Just calm down. A regular comedian, aren't you? What's really the problem, Arthur, huh? Don't get ahead of yourself, Morgan! You'll keep. Arthur! Arthur! Arthur. How you doing? I'm fine. Okay. If you're Folks are worried here, about you, fine. that's all. All right then, Arthur. Give me some bloody room here. Sorry, I'm in a world of my own. You're a strange man. found your manners now. Ah, it stinks a coward right around here. Sticks and stones. <laughs> Drop the tough act. It's getting embarrassing. You need to back off. Keep this up. We'll see. Good to see you. It's good to be warm. Sure. So what do you think, Arthur, of Dutch's latest plan. You know me, I never did much thinking. Yeah, I know you like to hide behind the angry moron act, but it's a thin enough veneer. If you say so. Time to start thinking, Arthur. Before it's too late. I'm getting a little long in the tooth, but... Oh, nonsense. How about tomorrow? Well, let me think. So that's a yes? Okay. Well, now if I'm gonna go out with you, I'm gonna have to look my best, so... Can I borrow ten dollars? Can I borrow a few dollars? I'm good for it. Borrow money? Oh, you horrible man! 
Well, you can't blame a fellow for trying. <laughs> You did real good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. Yeah. Well, let's wait a bit. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. Morning. Good morning, Arthur. How old are you now? 21, 22? You know, you shouldn't ask a lady such things. All right. Sorry, don't mind me. Okay, then. Miss Roberts. Good morning. Working hard there. Somebody's got to do it. All right, well, don't let me disturb you. Take care, Arthur. Hello. Morning. You okay? I'm bored. Well, go find some mischief to get up to. Uh-huh. There he is. Hello. You really need to start helping out around here. I know, I know. You're lucky Dutch has a soft spot for you. Okay. Managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Ah, uh, he ain't that bad. If you say so. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. The fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Come on. The fish should be hungry for their breakfast. You got a real way with women. I thought you said it wasn't far. Please, so you get some action. <laughs> okay, get a well, move on, let's talk dirt. more later. Are you gonna ride with me now? Yeah! Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we we'll fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is won without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves what they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. Easy. We'll cut through to the right here. Yeah! The other day, I rode 
sailed down to the Lanahatchee River, I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Whoa! What's wrong, Arthur? Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. He's a fighter. Trick is, let him tire himself out. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Okay, let's try for another. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out.
We're lucky we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman, especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of my here. Crickets. Thanks. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Home O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner, and Dutch... Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. So now, here we are. Another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I heard people talk about a huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. You got one. Don't rush it, Arthur. Another one. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Oh, keeping you. Let's try for one more and then head back. What do you say? That's fine with me. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. You're better than you let on. Another one. You got this one. Good job, Arthur. Nah, 
not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or, uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. Those twins who bought the horses are strange, huh? Real strange. And they don't like Cubans. Well, I should get back to it. Yes, see you later. What is your game? You're one to talk. You creepy, no good bastard. You think you're real funny, don't you? You don't fool me one bit. You're playing a dangerous game. You ain't mentioned the Blackwater money for five minutes. This is a new record. You're rattling the wrong cage. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Just ride with me. Come on. So, you were saying? Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. Whoa!
Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. This food's barely touched. Looks like you left in a hurry. What do you think? There's some blood here. That ain't good. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Big struggle. Pretty recently, Look, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 Come hours on. ago. But no body? Not yet. Okay, fella. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <clears throat> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah, I still ain't sure about that. What are you getting off for? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> ah, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. I took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again. You hear me? You got lucky there, my friend.
Come on, let's go. It'll take more than that, boy. <laughs> Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Don't stop. Let's get there. Yeah! You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know. Not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Oh, he's disappearing for weeks on. Good. Come on, get up here. Let's get to those cornfields. Come on. Now stay with me, please. Anyway, what were you talking about? He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly this loyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. That must be it. Whoa! Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. So uh, you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't. For much Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Go. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. They've gone into the court. We need to flush them out. Come on, where are they? Over there, where the birds are. I will find you, bastards!
sons of bitches. Something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. <laughs> He's mine. Let me take him. Get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. Fine. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. He's backing off inside. Get after him. Should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right.
Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Okay there, boy. I've been dreaming of iron like this since I was born. Mister? Hello. How's things? I ain't too cheerful these days. Well, all the best then. Bye then. Okay, settle down there. Is that your idea of a sense of humor? Yeah. Eat this, boy. But yeah. my husband and my house girl doing some very unchristian behavior. Just how it is. Rotten in some cell. So, so, uh, what do you want? Whiskey, please. Wait, you look. Don't uh, need to hear no, 
Don't listen to me. What? We had some trouble here with a couple of brothers, and you just have a look of one of them. Don't, don't mind. Now get! Oh, there ain't no cause, no more. Don't pretend otherwise. Move along. We ain't looking for your company. Damn fools. No one wants you here. Hey, now. You're gonna leave here. You got me? Okay. You don't leave, I'll make you leave. That's simple. Guess you want a piece. Why can't you write us leaving at the door? Please, fella. Ah. You might not. Ah. Let's see if we can't clog this. Ah. Sit into you. Ah. Ah. Deserve no mercy. You'll die for that, you son of a bitch. This is sunset. You need to lay off the prairie moon again, Martha. <laughs> More words of wisdom from the Greek card. Nothing a drink won't kill. I'm glad we are still producing television, brother. I wish my wife felt the same. Well, now. Need someone to take over in there? Oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Trust me, you won't regret it. Might not even recognize yourself after this. If you don't mind, I ain't in much of a talking mood. Of course, I'll get to work. Don't forget to wash the rest of me. Mm-hmm, sure. I reckon that bit's clean enough. Sure thing. I reckon that part's clean enough for now. Gladly. That's perfect. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your time here. 
It's wife. ready for you now. Same. Do enjoy. Fella? Well, I hope... Well, back to it then. They got a lot of respect in this community, even if they can act up out of turn. standards here. You watch it or you're out. Wanna have a good time? <coughs> sir? Ladies? I'm just trying Why, hello there, sir. Shit. How do you do? Everything okay? Why, hello there, sir.
idea. Hey there. Hey, who's there? It's me! Hope you make some money. Behaving yourself? Of course. All right, well, that's something. Yep, okay. Arthur! Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well. I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Hello there. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know... You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Well, there it is. Yep, that's the word in town. Well, I must get on. So long. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. 
A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. Money to be made on the new railroad for those who know. Yep, that's the word in town. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up. So they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Here we are. This is the spot. Easy. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Good day. Hello. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I 
Yeah. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? It's a small benefit. In Blackwater. Just Mrs. Chester Danson. I flatter. <laughs> stop the coach, my good man. Stop the coach. Whoa! Miss Dempsey, why did you stop singing? The New York audience. Rather cruel. New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. <sighs> Would, could you? It's such a small show. Could you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, <laughs> you owe it to West Elizabeth. Mrs. Damson, magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Singers for me to rob. Good day, I hope. Easy. Yeah.
mouth on you every second you're in here, thief. All right, what do you want? You've got a fine weapon, and I can make it even finer if you're interested. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Well, if that gun ain't shining, Glad you take care of what's yours. Best for you. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Hey there. It's my life. Nice singing. It's my life. Oh, hey there. Why, why don't you join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire? Oh. By the fire. Huh. Mm. <laughs> Bone dry. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Only Fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. And I know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a y young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. 
I'd do. I might risk the last minute feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. fun. Dutch is fun. Dutch is gonna save us all. Dutch is gonna save us. Well, he saved me twice or more already. Stop the farmer from lynching me up in the road. You won't let me ride your ring dang do? He pulled up her garment so scared it would soar. I out with old Phoenix went boring for all. I hadn't been boring six inches or more till it all from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass, looked up, smiled, and said, Bear down on your auger, for I know hey, you struck all. Get up. I'm trying to sleep here. You were snoring, that's all. Just go to bed, Arthur. Got the fire in some ways. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that one. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't. But we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. 
Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. We've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Count up then, Morgan. Let's go then. You know, I've been fighting Combs for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us, hmm? Okay. Just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth it. Believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try.
All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plain. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yeah. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? sense. Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. <clears throat> Fuck the whole lot of them. Yeah. With this fella, call him right. He's escaping. Shoot him. Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. <clears throat> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. <laughs> not yet. But I will. <clears throat> Finally, put his weapons over there. Dutch. 
could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Comb. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cabin. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Comb. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <laughs>
My dear boy, what? They got me. Well, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're uh, safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Uh, uh, oh. You are safe now, Arthur. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Oh, that's pretty. It does. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. doesn't change. Oh, shut up, Arthur. Wouldn't want that face to freeze. Sorry, ain't much company right now. 